Hey guys, so I just got off of work and this fine lady behind me that's washing dishes been busy. And I gotta show y'all my cute ass backyard. So we going out back. Look at this seating area, it's super cute. Don't mind the umbrella. She put some turf down. And we seen this on TikTok. So she brought the little pool. I'm going to call it my wine pool because I'm going to be drinking my wine in it. <laughs> and they go to the backyard. It looks so good. Pavers we got to move. Here's all of the rocks we got to uh, take up to get the grass out. But it's super cute back here. And the table's going to be back there. I think that'll be cool for eating. So now we got to figure out this section right here. So my only issue is we got this little opening right here. So any suggestions you got? Babe says she's going to put this post right here and attach it to that end of the fence and maybe can add a curtain, some type of curtain to it. Kind of like how I added that curtain right there. So. Yeah. It's hard to see because the sun is so bright today, but this is what we're working with so far. We seen this little pool on TikTok and I thought it was a super cute idea for us to see how something inexpensive worked this season. That way, next season we can get the real thing if necessary or a hot tub. Does hot tubs, do hot tub has to be hot? Like, is it a cold setting? Cause I'm not fond of hot tubs cause they too hot. You know, I don't need my bottom to be boiling. You know what I'm saying? Comment below, let me know. So we're gonna have a um, umbrella right here. That way it won't be hot. We still got some shade. And I recommended the grill go right there because we don't have that huge grill like we used to anymore because it's just us, you know? And I like it right here because since the table gonna be inside of the yard, when we do have friends and family over, um, since my wife is the griller, she can still interact with everybody without having her back turned to everybody. Because before, the grill was over here facing our back door. So whenever we time it's time to have chit-chat, she used to have to turn around. But she's still grilling, but she's turning around. But let me show you our garden because I know most of y'all are here for the God. So we got these from a nursery. They're super cute. Um, unfortunately, the storms we've been having over the last few weeks has completely ripped out all of my blueberries. So it's just a bush. That's disappointing. Our guava plant has grown. Um, I don't expect any fruit from it this year. Um, but at the end of the season, I will be bringing it in the house and putting it in the grow tent. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah. And don't ask why we got a grow tent. And if you hear cash, that's because he's inside the kitchen in that red door and he's mad because he can't come outside because he already been outside earlier and his whole body was in dirt and he looked homeless. So okay. our garden has been gardening, okay? So, our bushes, we got a Brussels sprout over there. I pull up, poured up our bok choy because we did not um, uh, take the veggies from it in time and it started to bolt. And our cabbage are looking great. We had peppers. The garden is doing what it's supposed to do this year. And um, as you can see, unlike our last video, I dug up the white eggplant. So now we only have the purple eggplant, which is by the Buddha. And then over here, our cucumbers, one of the problems is we forgot to take the damn cucumber out of 
the thing we brought it from this year. So, yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. Let's just say that's the main problem. Shit. That's the main problem. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then when we did. It, that joker did not have any. I'm about to take that off. Yeah, it, it was a mess. But it still has, like, I see a flower. So I have. Both. Yeah. And here is our corn. And the wife just told me all of these is going to be corns on the cob. So I'm really excited. I got to dig out all of these weeds. But yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. And that's my grape bush. I don't know why it's on the gangster lead. My wife been back here today. I do? I got a purple one? I'm gonna put that black on the table. Where? Oh, where I look? It look like a skinny wiener. It does. Oh, it's another one right there too. Oh, wow. So the reason I dug up the white eggplants is because they were nasty. I'm not a fan of white eggplants at all. I prefer the purple ones. The purple ones, you can do so much with them. You can um, fry them. We used them as a bun before. You can use them in stir fry. That white one, y'all, mm. it's, how can I describe the white one? The white one, it kind of felt like, um, it had a texture of kind of like oatmeal almost. But then you know how when we were young, we used to have that bologna that had like the red tape around it. That's how the skin is. And when you cook it, like we tried to fry it and that wouldn't even make it harder. It was so mushy. It was like eating like a, if a mashed potato can be a vegetable that grow, that's what it, that's what it was like. And I like it. My corn growing, y'all. Let me just say this. When them corn and the cobs become cobs, y'all gonna have to address me as Farmer Regina. <laughs> and I mean that. I mean every piece of that. I'm gonna be eating our dinner back here, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody had to come outside. And he's looking for something. So I guess he about to disrespect my new turf. Beast. Whoever said women don't like power tools, they lied. They they definitely so, lied. The shop vac was supposed to pick up all the rocks, but it did not. So what I've been doing was is raking up all the rocks. The little rocks just gonna have to get dug into the dirt. Like where we going? Unless we sell, we here for thirty years. Okay. <laughs> and then I've been raking the rocks on top and putting them in a place um i don't know i don't remember how i had these pavers before but i'm definitely going to need more because i'm gonna have to fill those in and i'm gonna have to get the side but it's definitely coming along so y'all that shop back it didn't do what it was supposed to do okay home depot said that was going to suck up all the rocks it ain't suck up nothing well, I ain't gonna say nothing. It probably sucked up maybe 30 rocks. But if you're talking about a thousand rocks that's on this floor, that's not. So this is what we have so far. I'ma have my wife pressure wash these pavers on this walkway. We have to dig up this grass probably tomorrow. And we're gonna lay down bigger pavers so you can walk into the yard because we're gonna place our table right here. So this is what I have so far. So I will be back later on this week, probably Saturday or something, and show y'all update. And she came out when I was finished, y'all. But since she was cooking, I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing because she was cooking me dinner. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. But, babe, I don't know how the pavers was last year because I don't have enough for right there. So... I figure since you want to put the bigger ones right there, you just put the bigger ones. Yeah, I think that'll work out. You cute little chocolate self. You ever look at the sky and feel like it's smiling down on you? I don't know why, but tonight I looked at the sky and smiled. 
because my cousin Charmaine, she had a very long battle with kidney disease after um, giving birth to her two children, well, three children, but one passed away. And we don't talk enough about the things that can happen to women after childbirth. And unfortunately, kidney damage was something that she suffered. And after years of being on um, dialysis, it went from once a week to twice a week to every single day. Um, her heart stopped doing dialysis um, two days before my surgery. And uh, she passed away officially in November. So I just feel like when I see the sky like this, I feel like that's her telling me she's okay. Oh. Whenever you see the sky looking as beautiful as this, just smile.